Hey and welcome back to the channel. In today's video I'll show you how you can activate and enable the remote through the VRM portal firmware updates. Let's get started. Maybe in the last video of updating Victron Venus OS 3.41 up there, I did show you briefly that you can through the portal also update your firmware on your Victron devices. You don't have to be in front of them, you don't have to connect via Bluetooth to them, you can just update them via your VRM portal. And I just took it for granted because I know that and realized, wait a second, I never told you about how it works in case you haven't figured it out already. So this video will talk about it and maybe I'll see if I can update then also my failed Raspberry Pi 4, which I wasn't update in uh, the same video I just pointed out. So let's see. Here I have the VRM portal I locked already in in one of my devices and I want to show you um, when you are at, in your installation, you can click on device list on the left side and then you should see this part down here, firmware update, and that is very important. If you don't see it, it's not enabled, and there's one requirement which you need to enable. So it means when I click on firmware update, it would scan all the connected devices, which are connected to your Raspberry Pi or your GX. It really depends on what you have. I have a Raspberry Pi, as you know. Ease installation. And then you wait. And wait. And at the end, you will get a list and it will tell you, hey, everything is updatable, up to date, or maybe there's a new version that will tell you what's installed, what's the latest version. And you can also upload a file. And I assume that would be the installation file in case you have a, I don't know, in case you just want to save the data. But it will not really save the data because it's from, it depends on. So that's how you do it. And now I'll show you my other installation. So I'm going back to this one. And here when I go on device list, I don't see the firmware update, and that is exactly what I'm talking about. So the requirement for this is, and I'll show you, you need to be in front of your device or you have it in your network and you can connect to your console yourself. Or, here it comes, you click on remote console, pretty simple, might be depending on your internet connection quicker or not quicker. And um, That's the device I'm talking about, Raspberry Pi 4. You have to go to settings, and you have to go down to VRM online portal, and then you have to go down VRM two-way communication, and that's what we need to activate. That's all. Double click on the menu, just go back, close the VRM console here. Now go to dashboard and clicking on device list again. Nothing's there. And here it really depends on that. It will, from the VM console, tell the VM portal. And as you know, there might be 60 seconds of delay, depending on your settings. Maybe it's 15 minutes or whatever you have set up. I have uh, 60 seconds every minute. I'll do a refresh, and I can see it here. And I'm getting even one more remote VE configure. And uh, I'm not talking about that one. I'm just talking about a firmware update. So now I can hit firmware update. Do the same again. Just let it scan and see whatever is connected to Raspberry Pi. To that setup uh, is checking is the victim component what's the firmware version is the new version out there and they will put it in here for you and you know what you can update or not and in my case maybe it will help me that I can update afterwards my uh, Venus OS because I have the Multiplus which has an older version as you can see a far older version I have not updated that yet and I will click update device from here. All right, I'll let it update and we'll be back.
Now you've seen how to use this remote firmware update. In my case, because it's a big update for the MultiPlus, I have to do some uh, manual work as well here, and that's basically the reconfiguration of what I've done before. So that means I'll do that offline, I don't have to show you this, but uh, for everything else, especially the MPPT, um, charge controller or for the smart chart, those things are really, really easy. And usually, except when there is a huge step from version th 3 to 4 something or bigger, um, I'm pretty sure there's not a ton you have to do. And so far it was not for me, uh, so don't be afraid of that. Same with the Victron uh, Orion XS DC to DC charger, I didn't have a big problem doing that at all. MultiPlus is a big update as, as you've seen, and that might also be the reason why I'm having issues updating my Raspberry Pi Venus OS 3.41 at the moment. As you can see, I could hit update device here. I'm doing it afterwards. And that's all I wanted to do about in this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions regarding those updates, especially doing them through the portal, let me know in the comment section below. And I hope you find this helpful in case you find it helpful. Like the video and ideally subscribe to the channel if you like that stuff. Thanks for watching. Tschüss!